y'all today we're going to be talking about how you can best utilize multiple text options on facebook ads to help improve your facebook ads performance so what even is multiple text options and why is this useful to you as a facebook advertiser so you're in your facebook ad account you've created a new campaign and you've also set up your targeting at the ad set level so now at the ad level, you'll notice that there's a section called ad creative. At the ad creative level, you're able to add your media such as your images or videos, and that's what you can use to create your ads. This is all pretty standard stuff, but what I wanna point out in particular is when you go to add your copywriting at the ad level, you'll see a notification appear that says, you can add multiple text options and we'll show one of them to each person based on what they're most likely to respond to. And you can add up to five variations of copy for each level. Do this for the primary text, the head line and the ad description. And a really new feature that just appeared in my ad account is this notification that says now you can enter text to automatically create variations. This is combating things like chat GPT that are appearing now and different AI copywriting tools. Facebook will automatically create different variations of whatever headline or primary text you enter in and give you suggestions for different variations that you can use in your ad. For example, imagine we're writing copy for a shoe brand that helps with foot pain. Maybe I'll write something like step into the new year without any foot pain. This is pretty bad, but I'm just gonna use this as an example. Click this little wand to get your text options, and here are the created variations that it will give off. So ready to kick off the new year without any foot pain. Let's get back to the basics and foot care, and then you can click this copy button, I'm assuming, to copy the text to clipboard. You'll click the plus add text option, and then paste in that new option. And that's pretty cool. Now, something really important to point out is the more variations you put, the more spend that's gonna need to be pushed through your ads to get statistically significant results. If you have a really tight budget, I urge you to only use two variations for both your headline and your primary text. You can choose to put one description or just leave it out. Across most of Facebook's media placements, the description doesn't really show anyways. If you're spending a more substantial budget, I urge you to put around three text options in the primary text and and in the headline. I would honestly never go above three multiple text options for your headline and your primary text just because that makes it way too difficult to get data. A lot of times, even at high spend, Facebook will prioritize one or two of the multiple text options in both sections, either your primary text or the headline. Putting four variations is just going to spread your budget more thin and make it harder to get results. Now, a lot of people may be asking, why don't you just use a dynamic creative test instead of using the multiple text options? For example, in the new campaign type called Advantage Plus Shopping Campaign, Campaigns, you actually can't run dynamic creative tests because there's only one ad set in that campaign type. But you can use multiple text options. In my eyes, it's really similar to a dynamic creative test in every way, except you can launch your campaigns in a more standardized fashion, except having all of the different assets combined into one campaign where it's kind of hard to view them. I really like this because it eliminates the need to launch a separate creative test for some of these ads. So there is one more warning I want to point out before diving into how to best utilize this feature. There's something called optimized text per person, and you'll want to make sure that that is selected off. You'll notice this feature describes itself by saying, turn on this feature to improve ad performance. When there's potential for performance improvement, allow text to swap between fields, such as showing your headline as a primary text. In my book, this is a huge red flag. Now, Facebook is already going to dynamically swap between the three primary texts and the three headlines. But by selecting this option, it'll let Facebook take the headlines and put it in the primary text section if it feels like, and vice versa. This can be a huge problem because you really don't know what your ads are gonna look like, and it also makes it harder to measure performance. I personally hate having this feature on, and I've also come across a lot of issues with clients not liking how their ads look because of this. When using multiple text options, be careful and understand that this is a possibility. Do not overlook it if you don't want that on in your ad account. Account. Now, I want to talk about how to best utilize multiple text options in your creative testing and also when launching any new campaign. When I launch a new batch of ads using the multiple text option feature, you want to make sure that every single headline and primary text makes sense together holistically. The algorithm picks one primary text and another headline and they don't make sense together, that's going to be a problem. That's why I try to use each primary text and headline to attempt to learn something about my customer's target persona. I call this an ad concept. I like to choose an 
audience persona and then create two to three primary texts and two to three headlines around that audience persona. You can get deeper into this too and make every variation a different level of market awareness. And maybe the next variation targets a problem aware audience. Using the foot pain example, you ask the customer the question, hey, do you have severe foot pain? Or maybe your audience is already aware of their problem and you're speaking to a problem aware audience. Use the second text variation to target that persona. Really, all I'm saying is being very intentional with every single copy variation you put in, making sure that it's cohesive within the ad unit itself as a whole, and as an ad concept. Now to close out this video, I wanna talk about the most important part here, which is how to break down your results. First, I want you to go to the ad level of your campaign. Once you're at the ad level, I want you to go to the breakdown feature and then click buy dynamic creative element. You'll notice once you hover over this that you'll have multiple options appear. You have text, headline, and description. If you've used multiple text options on your ad, you'll see this available to you and you'll be able to break down your performance by the dynamic creative element. This is honestly something that's still being rolled out to all Facebook ad accounts where you can actually fully view your performance. Something I've noticed that's helped is if you actually go to your columns and click performance in parentheses default, sometimes that will make your performance appear where you can actually view the conversion breakdown by multiple text option. This multiple text option feature is something you can use in so many different ways across your normal campaigns, in testing campaigns, if you don't want to use a dynamic creative test. And in a way, it already is a DCT or a dynamic creative test. And if I use this feature, in a creative test, what you can do is just take the post ID of that creative test and use that to drop it into your best performing ad campaign. I love doing this because it'll actually retain all of your social proof with the best variation of all of those text options. I don't personally have a preference between a DCT and using multiple text option in a regular ad set, but the option is up to you. Honestly, some parts of how you run your ad account such as this are up to personal preference. So if you choose to have one headline and one primary text for each ad, and that's how you want to test things, that's totally fine. But in my eyes, this is a very easy way to test out different ad concepts and quickly improve on your advertising by getting more data around your ads. For example, if your ad concept is performing exceptionally well and you notice that one of your multiple text options is doing really, really well above the others, then take that into consideration when creating future ads. Take more options like it and then use another multiple text option test in the future with more variations that are like the winning variation. And this is why it's better than using just one headline or one primary text because you can get faster results and more data around an ad concept. And that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and also leave a comment below if you have any questions on anything or suggestions for a future video. I'll be answering everything down there and I'll see y'all next week. Peace.